Onc Live Insights is a video editorial program produced by Onc Live. Iron chelation therapy is very effective in removing iron. It's clear to me that you can put patients in a negative iron balance even with ongoing transfusion therapy if the patient can tolerate the drug and is able to take it as scheduled. The biggest concern for uh, iron chelation, particularly with deferocyrox in the form of X-Jade, has been uh, adherence to therapy because of adverse events. And that is really what limits the efficacy of the drug, not the drug itself. It's the ability to tolerate it for, for a number of patients. Whether or not hydroxyurea uh, is used at the same time, there are certainly some patients who are so iron overloaded, we really feel uncomfortable continuing transfusion therapy and we'll switch them to hydroxyurea, but at the same time would consider chelation therapy to remove the iron that's already there with one thought being that they may be able to go back to uh, transfusion therapy if needed, either on an intermittent basis or a long-term basis in the future. There are several iron chelators that have been available now for uh, a fair number of years. The first available drug was deferoxamine or Desferol, which has been available longer than I've been in practice. It is given either IV or subcutaneously, or, or it can be even given intramuscularly, although I can't imagine that anybody would ever want to do that on a routine basis. Over the years, it took a motivated patient and often family members and home health nurses to be able to deliver deferioxamine successfully. And it was particularly difficult to do for sickle cell patients uh, who needed other long-term therapy as well and whose survival over the years was, was shorter in the past and was not something that was often done for patients with sickle cell disease. That really was the state of the art for many years until deferocyrox in the form of X-Jade became available about a decade ago. And that was really a, a marked improvement in the ability to chelate iron in a larger group of patients successfully. That drug was followed more recently by a different formulation of the deferocyrox and the formula, formulation of Jade New, which is much better tolerated, easier to prepare and take, and seems to be another advance in the treatment of iron chelation therapy. Patients that were on X-Jade had some difficulty in taking it. It was not the easiest medication to use. It needed to be mixed in water or juice. There was always some question about what the uh, effective liquids would be to, to mix this with. It took some time to mix, and, and many patients would tell me how difficult it was for it to go down, and that made it more difficult for them to even want to prepare it as a, uh, something that you would want to drink every day. So, so there was difficulty with that, and that was even before you got to the idea of other toxicity, such as nausea and vomiting, or other uh, diarrhea and other GI complaints that, that occurred. So, so X-Jade was difficult, but it definitely improved uh, the iron load in people who were able to tolerate it. Many patients develop strategies for tolerating it on their own, um, changing the liquid that they use, dividing it into different doses, changing the time of when they took it with respect to meals, all of which made it difficult to know exactly how, uh, how, how effective it would be when it was given perhaps somewhat off-label uh, compared to the patients who took it on study. Now, Jade New has been available for a much shorter period of time, but universally in my experience, the response has been positive in the sense that it is much easier to tolerate. Well, the most common uh, answer I've gotten to the question about how Jade New has been tolerated has been fine. It's given as a pill that the patients take like any other oral medication. Um, it's not difficult to, to take or tolerate. It doesn't have that um, sense of doom as it's going down. 
Um, and, and I think it's been another advance in the field of chelation therapy. Another common response I've gotten from patients in, who have been switched from XJ to Jade New has been a thumbs up. That has been a uh, response that I've seen in, in a handful of patients, and it's very gratifying to see.